everybody and happy Thursday. I'm back for our second unicorn book that I promised on Tuesday. This book is Unicorns Are the Worst. It's written by Alex Willen and it's published by Simon & Schuster. And we wanna thank them for allowing us to read this book to you today. So let's find out why unicorns are the worst. And look at these end papers. Look at all that purple. It looks pretty sparkly, doesn't it? For hundreds of years, I have gone about completing my important goblin business in peace. From documenting spells, to gathering ingredients for spells, to alphabetizing the ingredients I've gathered for spells. No distractions, no interruptions, just me and my work. But guess who decided to move into the meadow next door? Unicorns. Now, I know what you're gonna say. Doesn't that look like fun? Look at all those unicorns. Unicorns are the best. Unicorns are magical, blah, blah, blah. That's true, but a lot of things are magical, like elves and fairies. What's the other one? Elves, fairies, and, oh, right. What else is magical besides elves and fairies? Goblins. I have studied the forgotten magic that lies deep within the earth. I know spells that can transform socks into slugs. I can turn broccoli into ice cream. It still tastes like broccoli. And I have mastered the three strand braid. But despite all this, does anyone ever ask to have a goblin themed birthday party? Would you like a goblin themed birthday party? What do you think? That's pretty cool if you can turn broccoli into ice cream, but it probably should taste like ice cream. <sighs> Does anyone have that? Look at all that unicorn party supplies. Look at all of it. Who's had a unicorn birthday party? Meanwhile, all unicorns do is frolic around all day on their dainty unicorn hooves. Frolicking, frolicking isn't even hard. Goblins can frolic. We just choose not to. And look, the unicorns are prancing with all those rainbows. And over here we have horse plus pointy equals unicorn. I don't get it. They're just horses with pointy heads. I have pointy ears, but you don't hear me carrying on about it. And the glitter, so much glitter. Do you realize how hard it is to get glitter out of a smock? Okay, moms out there, you know how hard it is to get glitter, don't you? It's like one little piece becomes a million. They are constantly playing their instruments. Newsflash, unicorns, not everyone likes harp music. And the tea parties, so many tea parties. It's not like they ever asked me to one of their tea parties. Not that, I would, not that I would have time for tea parties when there is all this important work to be done. It's not like this shrub is going to document itself. Do I enjoy a good cup of tea? Perhaps the occasional crumpet? We'll never know because somebody around here has to take their work seriously. You know what? I wouldn't go to one of their silly tea parties even if they did ask me. You know why? Do you know why? You know what, maybe they should ask him to a tea party. Because unicorns are the worst. I would rather be neighbors with gnomes or this dragon or a chicken or a, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Save yourselves, my little sock slugs. Run for your lives. It's a dragon. Uh-oh. And this dragon is breathing fire. <gasps> Gulp. Uh-oh. 
What's going to happen? What do you think is going to happen when I turn the page? Let's find out. <gasps> well, I guess unicorns do have some good traits. Look who saved him. The unicorns. For instance, did you know that their glitter can put out dragon fire? Did you know that? I didn't know that. And that heart music can be quite disorienting. Those dainty hooves pack quite a wallop. And guess what? It turns out a unicorn's horn is more than just pointy. <gasps> All right, fine. As far as neighbors go, unicorns aren't that bad but I think we can all agree. Dragons are the worst. And look, he got invited to a unicorn tea party. The end. I hope you like this story. And if you want, you can come in and check it out. It's brand new. We also have some fun unicorn art projects on our Wakelet page. So check it out under virtual story times. And as always, I'd love to know what you hear, what you think about this book. And if you do one of those unicorn projects, I'd love to see it on our Instagram page. Next week, I will be back with some stories to celebrate Halloween. I hope you join me. I can't wait to see you then. And everybody have a great rest of your week and weekend. Bye for now.